Globular clusters are among the most ancient bound stellar systems in the universe. There are reasons to wonder whether they host large populations of planets. Inside Science TV. The globular cluster is a bound group, typically of about 100,000 to a million stars. And these bound groups are very unusual because we think they formed in the early stages of galaxy formation. So they are among the oldest bound systems in the universe. Not only do they host planets, but they host planets that could potentially have liquid water on their surfaces. And many of these planets have uh, sizes that are comparable to the size of the Earth. So they could, in principle, be Earth-like planets. We have found one planet in a globular cluster. So we know that in that particular cluster, there is at least one. And that planet is in a very unusual situation. It orbits a binary system where, where one component is a very fast spinning pulsar and the other component is a white dwarf. And it's about 23 astronomical units from the center of that binary. Uh, to form such a system requires a set of processes that are not very common. And so it's almost certain that that single planet represents a rich population of planets in that cluster M4. What we're doing is looking at the cluster environment and asking what it would be like for civilizations in that environment. One can imagine that if, if we were living in such an environment, that the idea of interstellar communication and interstellar travel would be very different than what it is for us and that we might, over much shorter times, be able to um, establish outposts. It seems likely to be easier to do it if you only have to travel a tenth or a hundredth the distance, and you would be able to get to that nearest neighbor planet about a hundred times faster, potentially. And if we existed in such an environment, it would very likely be a boon to our attempts to travel more widely in the universe. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on the web and social media. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.